Hey everyone. Well, I want to show you the journals I use throughout the year. Uh, ones are specifically for 2018, not that many, and ones are for, I just use throughout the years. Every year it continues on to a new year. So I thought you'd like to see them. These are my Foxy Fix, and I will go through. I have three, two standard, one pass, um, personal, one passport, and then I have Webster's Pages, all standard, of course. Um, I have some Fabridories here, uh, two standard, one B6, and one, I think that's considered an A5 size. I got my planner, my Daphne's diary from last year and this year. Um, I have another traveler's notebook that I just use for writing. I have another one that I don't have in here because I take it to church um, for sermon notes and stuff. And I guess I should just go get that. And then I got just ones that I journal in sporadically, um, morning pages, that sort of thing. So let me get that last one. I guess you can see my <laughs> Christmas is still up here at my house. We'll put that down next week. So back in here, <laughs> and I will just add this to this pile because this pile is the faith pile. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for uh, doing that. And now let me get this on here and hopefully not turn the record button off like I've done twice already. Okay, so what I'm just gonna do um, let me make sure this is going to get us a good picture of everything in here. <coughs> That's what I have to remember. All right, so I'm going to start with my Foxy's. Foxy Fixes. I love Foxy Fix. I also love journals. These type of journals without pockets. So I, anything that this type of thing, I don't, I like it without the pockets. And this was my very first one ever that I got. This little passport, when I discovered Traveler's Notebooks, I got this little baby and it's so cute. And actually most of my stuff, almost all of it, a good portion of it, I've gotten on the BST sites. Um, the buy sell trade <clears throat> so um, this one has a dashboard from little magical art that I bought from her it's got one of those insert things you know where you can put stuff in um, I decorated some of the journals somebody gave me this one and um, and I decorated this one as well so let me just show you um, this is I take this in my purse this goes in my purse always because it's my grocery list. So, like here, I've got my grocery list going, which is a disaster at the moment, as you can see. My husband's picking up this stuff for me. I forgot to tell him to pick up Kleenex. Oh well. And this, this one is just for um, things I look for at thrift stores, and that's really all I've written in here at this point, because it's just for notes, things I'm looking for when I'm out and about. This is a little folder and a little notebook and I don't know what I'm gonna use this one for yet but I, it's so cute, somebody gave it to me and I wanted to put it in here to use. That was also a gift from somebody, a little like journal, laminated journaling card. And then this one, oh this is a, oh I see, I took a little uh, sleeve thing and tucked in Mary Inglebright stuff. Yeah, this one is for lists, and this is for craft supplies that I would love to have, and so um, I need to go through here. I probably have gotten some of these and, like, cross out what I've already gotten. But yeah, kind of a wish list. So this is for shopping. out When I'm out shopping, that's what this is for. Um, my second traveler's notebook was this beauty, <clears throat> which and I love this thing. This is my creative notebook and I used it more I didn't use it as much the last few months because I I'm so I'm gonna be changing some things up in here this is a metro um, this is the fountain pens I like I have three of these fountain pens I have them in a purple and I have a teal and this green 
and it's the pop the pilot metro the um metropolitan retro pop and i really like it it's my favorite i mean that's the fountain pens i have and i really like them i have absolutely no trouble with them at all they're just wonderful to write with so in this one it's all completely for my um crafting craft youtube any kind of planning like that this is also a dashboard from little magical art and i probably have another one in here oh no i bet i put my own in here this is my dashboards i sell these in the shop of my flower girls and it looks like I have another one right here. Yeah, so you can check out my shop if you're interested in that. Um, so yeah, I was using this one as kind of a calendar. Uh, what I did, my YouTubes, and I haven't done that since March of 2017. April 1st was the last time I did used it for that. Oh no, I used it into May, actually. And then I stopped using it for that. So I'm going to... Um, all of these are just for planning. This one's planning YouTube content, YouTube subscribers, journaling ideas. So I've kind of um, divided that up according to what I want um, to do. And this one is planning, happy mail planning, happy mail log, Bible and faith journaling. Um, I didn't keep up very well with this, but I did have ideas of people and stuff to keep track of. So I'm gonna kind of revamp these and try to use this a little better in 2018. Then I have <clears throat> this little baby. Um, this and the creative one sit by my recliner because then I can work in these. And this one I'm going to revamp. This is a list. This is for lists. So I have books in this one, book series I'm reading. This one, um, I was using it for something else. I don't need it for that anymore, so I think I'll switch this to movies, TV shows and movies. This one, um, I will, there's some, maybe, I'm not sure. But it's going to be lists, so that's all I'm going to use these for is lists. And this one, I don't know yet what I'm going to use it for, but it fit in here okay, so I put it in here. These two are kind of smaller. So I'm going to, um, isn't that cute? Somebody did that, made that for me. I think she made it, or else she, oh, she bought it like this. I don't know. Isn't that just adorable? So yeah, and that's in here too. So I have not totally decided what I'm doing with those two, but this in general is for lists. And that's just a continued year to year. This is my nature one. This is a very softer Foxy Fix. Um, this has my camping journal, which is this. So when we go camping, I journal about our camping. So this, it houses, this is all of last year. And then it'll continue into this summer. And when it's full, I just do another one. This is my camping log. And what I do here like I got some stuff I want to use. I got a squirrel. Is I log our camping trips. So this is last year's camping trips. I w did like what when it was and where we went a little bit about each day. So that's what I did for that. And this one is a journal, a uh, nature junk journal that a friend made for me and I've been adding to it when I see different animals and stuff pick up feathers, I put those in here, um, I skip throughout, the, I just skip all over in this book, I don't go right in order, like the butterflies and birds especially, birds, butterflies, plants, trees, um, here's some feathers and other things I collected and just stuck them in here, um, same thing here, some plants. That's kind of what I do with this one. It just houses, here's some little, I did some more in here of little things I picked up. Feather again and leaves and some more leaves. So yeah, I just, um, I kind of skip around in this one and when I'm out camping or whatever, 
and I just find nature things, I, I put them in here, or if I see wildlife and other things, I have books I can cut out of that have wildlife and nature in them, and I um, put them in here. <clears throat> so that's that. Um, my next thing I want to show you is my Webster collection and what I use it for. This is all my faith journaling right here. Now, this is not a Webster. This is Patricia Nash. And I use this very simply. Um, I have one of my dashboards in here, too. I use this for um, prayer requests with um, my women's group that I go to. I use this one for any leadership things at church or learning things, seminars, stuff like that. And, oh, and I put another dashboard in here of mine. Um, and this one, oh, looks like I have a little issue. Got to fix this. Okay. Looks like it just totally broke. So I'm going to have to re restring that. Anyway, this one is for sermon notes. So I do all my sermon notes in here. Well, I just can't believe that totally came apart on me. Ah, oh, that's sad. That's so sad. <laughs> I'm going to at least push it through here. Maybe I'll just put something on the end to keep it from, like, coming apart. I can't believe that came apart. I've got to use this tomorrow in church, so... Okay, I'll fix it later. Obviously, I need to fix this, so... I'm just kind of surprised. There must have been a knot, because I had a charm. No, I didn't have a charm, but... There was something. Anyway, I've got to fix it, obviously. I will just put that over there. <laughs> okay, so now with these other three. Um, this one, my faith journal, I use this one every single day. I did put the things, some things in the pockets just to have. Stuff I made. Things like that. I decorated the journal covers. This is a gratitude. I did not use this one very well last year, as you can see. So I want to really use a gratitude. It's just like, well, it's supposed to be one thing a day. Um, this one, um, I don't decorate the cover. This is my prayer request every day. So I have the re people here and answers to the request and answers to prayer here. I already filled out one of these. This is the second one. Um, this is pray the word. So every day I write one scripture down that I can pray. And I've been doing that since April. And I made this little bookmark in morning and evening prayers. And then this one I'm supposed to put prayer quotes in. And I started it with one quote. <laughs> so, yeah. I need to keep doing that. And I use this teal metro fountain pen in here. Then I have two others that I'm using. Um, and I don't, like I said, I just use them, not continuously, but they're for different things. Um, this one is journaling. This is just a spiritual journal, so as you can see, I've just, when I'm going through something or whatever, spiritually, I just come in here and write it down, journal, art journal type style. This is um, Grace, so it quotes about Grace end up in here. And actually that should have ended up in here, I think. I might have to do some switching around because I was going to use this for my Grace journal, I thought. We'll see. I don't know now what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, um, and somebody gave me this charm. Isn't that beautiful? Um, so, grace quotes and scriptures that speak to me. So when I, this is kind of like my own Bible study that I do, different scriptures I read and they speak to me and I write stuff about them and cross-reference and other things. Kind of just, uh, it's my own, my studying that I do. And I don't do it every day. So that's that, and what's this one? This one is supposed to be spiritual quotes, and I've decorated it. Don't have any quotes in there yet, so yeah. Obviously that one needs, <laughs> needs some help, more work done on it. 
Um, and this one is for Grace. I'm going to be working on uh, last year um, Creative Memories, not Creative Memories, uh, Illustrated Faith came out with a box uh, called Grace Goals. And I bought it when it was on half off. I usually just wait till they have it on sale. Bought it, and I'm going to be doing that in here because here is the Goals with Grace, the book for it. Um, that's Little Magical Art, another one of her dashboards, which she's not, her shop is closed at the moment. Um, and these are just little cards somebody gave me, and they fit in here. This journal is about grace, uh, art journaling about grace. I don't have a lot in here yet. It's a, This is something I just do whenever. This one's about hope, because grace and hope are my two faith words for this year. So I've done a little bit with the hope, not very much. Um, these are pretty, these are post-its, aren't they beautiful? And some cards, somebody made that one for me. And this is Dream Big, and that's why I don't want this one in here because um, this is where I was gonna switch out. I haven't written in here yet anyway. I was going to switch this one out and put my grace quotes, prayer quotes, where's that grace one? Pray the word. Uh, which one was that in? <clears throat> I think it was here. Spiritual quotes. Grace. Grace 2017. Because <laughs> that was my word in 2017. And uh, yeah. So we will just uh, switch that out and put it in here because that makes more sense because this really is the grace, right? I'm not very good at making these bookmarks and charms, um, but I did make the charms and bookmarks for this one. I made the those little bookmark things, and I put ribbon and a few little things up here. But I'm not very good at some of that, so I don't really do it a lot. Okay, so that was that. I showed you that. And this one, of course, I switched up, and that means... Do I have an extra string? I have an extra string. So I suppose I could do dream big and put it in here. I don't know. This is where I'm like, I'm not sure what I want to do. So I'm just like, kind of switch things out. And I thought I, maybe what I'll do is I'll put this in here and I'll figure out what I want to use it for. This is a really pretty journal. Isn't that pretty? Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Oops. <laughs> let's, um, let's get this baby in here so I don't lose it. And, um, what else? Oh, this was, I seem to have, isn't this a cute bow? Somebody friend of mine made bows for me and I've got them in several of my journals. So this thing keeps falling off. This little bookmark. It's like no matter what I do, it just falls off. So I'm going to stick it back in there. All right, and then, let's see, and I showed that one. So I showed all those. So, okay, I'm going to show you this. These are my Fabridories. <coughs> and these are just for journaling Whatever I want to do, any kind of art, journaling, I just do it in these. And on some of these, people have made the inserts for me. Like, okay, so here's this one. And my friend Pramita made all these charms and things. And I just, I'll take this on a vacation or something, and I'll pull it out, and I'll work in it. So Pramita made this watercolor one for me, and I have... Um, 
been doing, I've done a little bit of work in it. Not a lot, but I've done a little bit of stuff myself. She's painted a whole bunch of these flowers in here. This one, she also made this journal for me, and this one I just use um, for art journaling as well. And I decorated this whole thing, because this is supposed to be like a friendship journal. I put this in here, Sadie. I was watercoloring this, and Sadie saw me, and so she did that. <laughs> it was very cute, very cute. And so I decorated uh, what wasn't decorated, I decorated for using as a friendship journal. So this has a lot of space in it. And this is just one of those things I use randomly. Um, it's not, it's going to last me years probably because that's how I use it. Then I have this one, and I used this for Christmas until it felt I couldn't hold it in because my Christmas journal was so fat. Anyway, so I put back in here, um, same thing. It's just art journaling, really. I just journal stuff. And I just put it in here when I feel like journaling, but adding art to it. That's pretty much what I do, this sort of thing. Yep. <laughs> this one I started doing the same sort of thing in. I've only just started that one. Same thing here. Um, I just do kind of mixed media, collaging, whatever. I just like to work in these and be creative. And when, whenever it just strikes my fancy, I guess you could say, I work in it. This one, um, I didn't realize it was a B6 Slim, so my stuff barely fits. But in here I've got my um, rainbow collage journal that I've been working on. And I got another, like a black mixed media that I started working in. So you can see I like this type of journaling. And it just, you know, I do it in a bunch of different ones. And whatever I feel like doing, I do. Alright, next up is my daily. You guys know I do, every month I do a journal like this in the standard. And this was Christmas, which is so fat. And I will be doing a flip through of that soon. But usually they don't get they get chunky, but not that chunky. Well, this year I decided to do owl stuff because I have all this owl stuff and other. And so I decided I would take journals that people gave me and I would make owl journals out of them for my each month. So I'm gonna use these little clippy guys to hold back the pages when I journal, but um, this one I don't, I will use eventually, but I have it in the front right now, and I've got that as a gift as well. This one, this journal, my, another friend made for me, and I de decorated more of the cover, and this is for January, for my everyday that I do, my journaling, creative journaling. I put things down that pertain to the day, or don't, if I don't have anything, I collage, I just do whatever. So I've prepped this. And of course with owls because I'm doing owl stuff all year. Next month I'll do this one. I got this from a friend who did this journal for me. And I will be um, using this as my um, journal for probably Mar February and March, I'm guessing. And then I'll do, probably do this one then for April. And I'm just going to keep on. I've got a bunch of journals this size. So I figure if I just use them throughout the year. I think this is like an A5 size. I'm just going to use these um, for my journaling. Because I think that that is going to work really well for journaling this year. A pocket somebody made me. My daughter made this. Fabridori. It's really beautiful. I really like it. So, we're just going to put that baby up there, and this thing will be used in a couple of days. Now, for planning, I mostly do, I don't do forward planning. <clears throat> it ends up being more a record of what I did. So, somebody last year gifted me this Daphne's Diary. And really, all I do... Um, all I use it for, as you can see, it's all filled out. 
um, is I use it to record like when YouTubes and Happy Mails. And um, I don't always use this part, but I sometimes I do. I used it extensively in December because in December I um, had to plan so many Christmas get-togethers. I had a lot of Christmas get-togethers. Um, and I love Daphne's diary, and this is so beautiful. And so really it's more of a record. I write down... Like, here we are, we're almost done. So here's this week. I write down the temperature, uh, what the weather was like. I write down supper, what movies we watched. And then just if we did something during the day, it shows up in here. So that is almost done, and I'm starting in here. And what I did, I got the 2018. I bought this at Michael's on sale, and I pulled out the rings, because I don't like rings, so I pulled them out. And this is my 2018 Daphne's Diary, which I did a flip through for. You can just go take a look at that. And this is what I'm using. And they did change it up a little because they have now they have more of a bullet page here. But I just love this diary and it's just working out so well for me. Okay, so that leaves other diaries I am currently working in. This one, I showed this last year. This is a continuing journal for my da granddaughter. Uh, started it, she was born December 3rd, 2011. I started it in March of 2012. But I think I did tell about her birth in here. She, as you can see, she got in here. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I have been doing this then since 2012, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 for six years I write letters to her whenever I see her or do something with her I write her a little note about what we did and that's what this is filled with and getting ready to go into 2018 this will probably go for like I would guess about three more years so we get almost 10 years in this big the first 10 years of her life <laughs> see how that holds together I also started doing morning pages in here, and I took a break from doing them in December just because December was just too busy. So actually I stopped November 16th, and I will just continue back up and finish this, and then I will move back into this one probably and finish up in this one, because I started this one, and then I didn't um, finish it. So I'm going to move back into the into this one and go ahead and continue writing because I do want to use up the whole thing. So I was more like writing, actually honestly I was more like writing every Sunday in this. And maybe I'll do that because it, it was more like my Sunday journal, you know. I just wrote, pretty much wrote Sundays. So I'll be doing those. This one I love this one. I can't remember what it's called. It's like, here's the thing. So it's like apple berry, apple pig, apple pig beer. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> apple pig? Maybe that's it. Anyway, this, uh, the inserts in here are all from Beth Solar Shop, Scrapping Wonders. I'm on the design team, but she gave me this one. She asked what color I wanted. I said purple. I um, did journaling in it, and I did some mixed media on the front page, and then I just did watercolor and a little stenciling. And I this this Pilot Metropolitan fountain pen has purple ink in it, and so I just journal. Same here, journaling, journaling. So that's what I'm doing, and I need to do a little more watercolor in here because I've the only two pages I have left so yeah this is for that oh and this is the same thing I just prepped this whole little one it's Tamoy River paper and I just prepped it ahead of time and then I just journal about different things and usually they're things that mean a lot to me that are emotional stuff for me gets in here it's a way to work through some of that stuff and this one I haven't started yet. This is Rodia paper. 
and I got another insert coming from her B6 that was is going to go in here. And I think, I can't remember which paper I chose, but that will go in here as well. So that's what I use this for. Love this. And then I have some stuff um, that I will be using throughout the year. People give me notebooks, and I, and I really like to use them. So I have gotten these. Look at how cute this is. This is for my friend Mona. Don't you just love this? And she gives me these ones where you can pull out when you're done and put something else in. So I have not decided what I'm going to use it for, but no fear. I will decide, and I will use it. And this cute one, too. Look at this cute little owl graph one. So I'll be using that as well. <clears throat> I love all these little bitty um, journal things. And so I do um, strive to, like I said, I always try to use anything people give me because um, that really means a lot to me. So I'm always working at trying to... Make sure I incorporate in my life things that people have given me. Now, Mona gave me these two. She gave me this one earlier this year, the graph book, and it's the same thing, slips in. And she gave me this one for Christmas, and I love this. I'm seeing, like, morning pages. You know, I think these are going to end up being morning pages. And then I'll move into this one. This one was also gifted to me. This will become a morning pages so anything like this, I'm going to turn into my morning pages books. And the little ones I just, I end up putting in my purse and using for different things in my purse. Um, this one I bought myself. This is very interesting because look, the cro I have a cross pan and it fits. It fits in here perfectly. And I washied um, the edges of not all the pages, but some of them. And I'm thinking I might just try, I tried bullet journaling and then I ended up, um, I didn't even try, I started. And then I, I ended up either taking the pages out or just gluing some together to, but I'm thinking of just a, a, a minimalistic type bullet journal, just the things I want to track. And because this is good paper, uh, maybe try my hand at letter hand lettering as well and kind of use this journal for that, both those things. And I've got a lectherum, lectherum, I don't know how you pronounce it, lectherum coming, a really pretty bold lime green one. And um, if this turns out successfully with my bullet journaling, or if I decide, I might just decide to use this for hand lettering. I may just use this for hand lettering practice because I've got this book. I bought calligraphy made easy. So I might just do that with this. I don't know yet. And then I will, um, the lecture will become my, my minimalistic type bullet journal for tracking things. So yeah, that's it. I'm pretty happy with all that. Um, like I said, I have a lot. It looks like I have a lot. But remember, I just go back and forth between things, and there's not things I just write in when I feel like writing in a particular notebook I do. I don't worry that it is in consecutive order. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you're having a great weekend and a happy new year. Bye.